doing today. I am going to be doing some up plane. I'm not going to do a whole lot because I need to get some more containers. What I like to use are plastic cups. They are cheap and they work. So I've got several plants here that are getting pretty large, so I'm going to up plant them into a little bit larger container, mainly my zucchinis, and I'll probably start up planting some tomatoes. But right now I'm going to try to get primarily my zucchinis because man, they smell good. Um, they're getting so big, so they're overcrowding a lot of the other plants here. So what I generally like to do is just take a whole plug of one. Most people that I see will usually only keep one plant, but I often try to keep them both. If I have multiple, just to. I don't really have a reason. I just don't like to. I just like to use them all if I can. And then I will decide later down the road which ones aren't doing well, which ones are. Those will be the ones I keep but don't keep. This year, my larger garden, I plan on hopefully keeping most of my plants and growing them. And this does cause some stress in your plants, especially breaking apart the root systems here. Now, I might not do this textbook the way everybody says or how it says you should do it, but my way, and as long as it's working for me, I'm going to keep doing it this way. Now I'm going to do some of my tomatoes. I need better seeds like trays and what I've got, but these will do for now. All right, so with the tomatoes. I can get a little bit long, and I will stick them in here. One, these are actually germinating really well. Thing about tomatoes, if you don't already know, is they've got little hairs along the, the stem that will root out. So with tomatoes, I will. Bury them up to their leaves. And I will leave room so I can add more dirt as they get a little bit bigger around the base of it as well. And then when I plant in the garden, I'll do the same thing. I'll bury them to their first set of true leaves so that they can establish as large of a root system as possible.
Uh, that's all the containers I have right now. So, that's what we got. I'm gonna plant one or two more. I've got, uh, I do have another container left. Um, I'm gonna plant that with my daughter. So, as you can see, we've got a bunch more to do still. But, you don't have to wait until probably tomorrow when I get more containers. We have to get some more um, soil for them. That is what I have for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see these go into the garden later on. And I hope you have a blessed day.